Hey guys, welcome to another video, and um, well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen an anime that divided the anime community so much? Hmm? Well, that seems to be the case with today's subject, Sword Art Online. You either love this series, or you hate this series. Or you're like me and you just enjoy whatever. So I thought for my first anime review of the year I would cover something that's popular that I actually enjoyed. I kind of want to start off on a good month, you know, um, and see how it goes. So with that said, let's get right into it. Okay, so the story, if you're one of the few who doesn't know about the story, and if you are, then why are you watching a review video? Yeah. Um, well, basically, a group, of, a group of people end up stuck in a game. Like, literally. A virtual reality game, The Matrix, um, and they have to try and back out. That's basic for both halves of the story. Um, and I'll say two more about the story because it is spoiler. Um, say that the second arc did feel kind of pointless, um, but hey, yeah, to to each their own. You know, I really thought that the second arc was kind of pointless. Um, but I have to say, yeah, but it's actually, it's actually and I I don't know how I how much I that, but uh, okay. So story is pretty simple. You know, group of people are trapped in virtual reality. They have to get out of their reality back to their own. So what did I love the story in general? Uh, the concept of it. It's a good idea. In terms of execution, I suppose it wasn't too bad, but I think it, it could a lot um, than it was. In terms of the characters were likable. Uh, I did sort of advance a lot, but for the most part it felt like the whole series was just plot, where the events just kind of happened and the characters were along for the ride and nothing else. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me? Is it just me? Um, but, um, yeah, the, the biggest problem that I had with the, pay, with the story, um, and in fact with the anime as a whole, uh, was the pacing, primarily. Um, you start off at, like, breakneck speed, you're just sort of thrown into it. And then the very next episode, everything is stopped. And then it's very slow for a bit. And then you suddenly explode into like breakneck speed again. So, you know, it, it is very jarring. Um, even for guys like myself who have seen, you know, hundreds of, hundreds of different titles. Um, so, yeah, and because of the the rush, well, the the erratic pacing, the um, um, plot development, or, or rather the character development, wasn't as good as I thought it could have been, um, and it, it just felt rushed. As a whole, there wasn't really a, there wasn't a lot of time to really get to know the characters. You know them a little bit, but you didn't really get to know them um, in a way that made you want them to succeed. Um, I, I also I liked the, the the way the game was designed. Um, I loved how as they progressed in the game they 
needed to upgrade Dill set and um, get new weapons and um, do these little like side game type things and um, I, I love those things. Those are really cool. Um, and it actually captures UG's kind of very act almost frighteningly so. Um, so yeah, I liked quite a bit out of the series. But I think in the end it, it it really was kind of just all that you really could like about the story was the concept. And you know, the rest of it was just art style and music. Um in general I loved how the sh the series was animated. Um the character designs were all really, really nice to look at, and um, yeah, I mean the action scenes were were really cool to watch, and the music was beautiful. But overall, it, it just felt like that was all they had going for them at that point. Um, so yeah, I I really don't know what to say, you know. Um, In terms of negatives, I can't really find much other than the pacing. Um, but and I mean the pacing's erratic nature, as I've said earlier, um, meant that the anime very rough, and that to the the character development, especially in terms of the the romance angle between the two lead characters. Um, so yeah, I I think that that was kind of that was really the only problem was the pacing. Um, although if I had to sort of nitpick to find another problem, it would probably be with how flat some of the characters are. Um, a lot of the humor is okay. Um, there were some moments where the comedy elements were just kind of meh or or just iffy in general um but yeah um really good animation uh beautiful backgrounds um the music is nice so yeah there's there's a lot here that that um that there's a lot to like you know um, in terms of what I didn't like, as I said, I didn't like the pacing. I mean, and I've, I've said it twice now, but I'll say it again. The pacing was really erratic. You start off slow, then you're going really fast, then you're stopping completely, then you're going very slowly, then very fast, and it, it's just, it's difficult to keep up. Um, so... In the end, you're kind of left with mental whiplash, trying to figure out what's what's going on. Um, and in the meantime, you know the anime just keeps going. Um, and that, of course, as I've just said, led to uh, the anime feeling rushed, and the character development and the relationships element was just not developed as fully as it could have been. That rushed feeling also meant that the second half of the series feels very tacked on. You know, um, after the Ironcrad arc ends, and no, this isn't a spoiler, because we know it's going to end, they start up a new arc. You know, the, the second half of the story is a completely different um, gaming world. And it just felt unnecessary. It felt tacked on to me. Um, it's just like, oh, um, actually, you know what? We we need more episodes. But we've already ended the Ironcrad arc. So w what can we do? Oh, well, let's let's use this this other story and put that in, and and that'll work. And to a point it does, but 
it just it felt tacked on and just unnecessary you know and again that particular story specifically felt rushed so you know two wrongs don't really make a right in this case you know um and I'm I'm not even going to get into how uncomfortable the second arc was to watch. <laughs> I think I already mentioned that earlier, but I'm I'm really I'm not going to go into details. Um, after all, I mean that's what that's what you guys are for, you know. You guys can watch the series and draw your own conclusions. <laughs> um, but yeah, I I thought that nah, you know this the second arc just didn't. It didn't make, or it made sense, but at the same time, it also didn't make sense. A lot of the characters sort of disappear. The focus is suddenly on the two main characters, uh, Kirito and Asuna, and Asuna, who had been a really cool character to watch in the first half of the story, is now relegated to the rather generic damsel in distress role, you know, waiting to be saved. Uh, and while she does get a few cool moments here and there, it's just not the same, you know, because she spends a lot of the time just waiting to be rescued, which I I felt was kind of a a disservice to her character. Um, in general. Um, so yeah, the the whole second arc just didn't feel didn't feel right. If you're gonna do the second arc of the story, if they were going to do the fairy arc thing in the end, which I, which I believe they probably were going to do in the first place, um, then by all means go ahead, do it. But rather do it as a separate series than rush the end of the Eincrad arc and then introduce this new story with these new characters and a new danger that we really don't get enough time to care about, you know. Um, so yeah, I I personally would have loved to see more of Ironcrad developed, um, because if I'm not if I remember correctly, there were a hundred floors or something like that, there were fifty floors or a hundred floors or something, and they had to get all the way up to the top floor and beat the final boss to get out of the Eincred game, uh, out of Sword Art Online. Um, so yeah, you know, we don't really get that much development. We see a fair bit of Eincred, but we don't really get much more than glimpses of it. Right? I, I would have loved to see more of it. To see more of that specific, um, that specific arc being extended further, um, but hey, that's just me. Um, so yeah, it it just it kind of felt like, and I think I've already said this, um, the art and the sound design was really all that they had going for them. Which is a shame, you know, because, as I said, the music is beautiful, the animation is beautiful. The story is okay, I guess. You know, it, it's a fair story, you know, um, not bad, not great, but um, I think that the sad thing is that this really did have a lot of potential, and it just couldn't live up to that potential. Um, I think part of that, though, as well, was the hype that surrounded the series. This is a series that seems to have flown very much under the radar from what little I can tell. And um, it seems to have just sort of slipped into the cracks before being found a few years ago. And because um, when I found it initially, it was it had already been around for... I think two years or three years or something. So, you know, it wasn't a new series by any means. But 
um, yeah, you know, I personally, I thought it was a good series, not great, not perfect, you know, but it was good, it was, if nothing else, it was entertaining, you know, you can't, um, I'm trying to think of a good comparison, and I can't think of one, you know, you, you can't, I, I don't think it would be fair to go into this expecting something like, um, oh, I don't know, Ghost in the Shell, or um, Akira, or, you know, for any of the sort of, like, Ghibli film style quality storytelling. Um, at the end of the day, I thought it was entertaining, and... I enjoyed the series, so, and I, I enjoyed the series in spite of its faults, you know, believe me, I became very much aware of them on my second viewing of the show already, and I've already, I've actually watched it, I think, three or four times now, each time becoming more and more aware of the flaws, and each time just enjoying it in spite of those flaws. So, yeah, I, I guess, it's not for everybody. I do understand that. Um, so, yeah, if you're into this kind of thing, you know, definitely check this out. Um, the story's concept, I think it was done once before. I'm not sure. Um, but, yeah, if you're into this kind of sci-fi game shonen um action like comedy romance type stuff definitely go and check this one out um is it overhyped yes i definitely think so um when i first found the series i was hearing a lot of really good things about it um and while i didn't have massive expectations I was very much aware of the fact that, you know, it was flawed. And those flaws did, in a way, contribute to me not going all, like, fangirl on the series and just going wild, okay? Um, so, yeah, those are just my, that's just my two cents. Um, if you guys have, if you guys are into this kind of thing, um, then definitely check this one out. I personally, even though it's overhyped, I do feel like it kind of gets a bad rap. Um, ultimately, it's up to you. You know, make your own, make your own observations on the series. Um, so yeah, I, I guess that concludes my review. Okay, so, I want to know your thoughts, okay? Have you guys seen the series? If you have seen the series, what did you think of it? You know, did, did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Why or why not? Um, if you haven't seen the series yet, and once again, I'll ask if you haven't seen the series, why are, why did you watch a, a video review of this series? Um, but if you haven't seen the series, are you likely to to go and watch the watch the series? Why or why not? Um, do you think you know? Obviously, if you've seen the series, do you think that it was overhyped? Um, you know, is it really? Do you think it gets a bad rap from people? You know, just saying, you know, it's a bad series, don't watch it. Um, I would love to, I would really love to know your thoughts on that, on those, those questions and others. Whatever feedback you have on the review, whether you agree or disagree with me. Um, if I've missed any points or sort of glossed over anything, then feel free to let me know. Um, also, if somebody could let me know if there was any CG in the anime, that would be great, because I, if there was any CG, I didn't notice it, so, 
you know, but that would definitely be appreciated. Um, and um, yeah, you guys can send all your feedback to um, to either the Facebook page um, or Twitter or Instagram, um, or if you prefer, you can go to WordPress. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to pick a place to put the link. <laughs> Let's say there. Right. So, you guys can go to any of these links and, and leave, a, leave a comment or some feedback. Um, you can also go to the YouTube comment section, obviously. You know, leave a comment there. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Fe oh, fe feel free to recommend content as well. Um, as I'm sure you guys have, I think I I covered this in one of my in my plans of 2018 video. But the Crazy Nut Reviews website and channel and everything else is actually meant to cover a lot more than just anime and and manga content. So yeah, feel free to recommend content, whether it's books or movies or TV series or, you know, um, anime or manga or, you know, whatever. Um, feel free to recommend it and, um, yeah, maybe you'll, maybe that content will be covered on the channel, huh? Okay, so... I think my having reviewed Sword Art Online, I, as I said in the review, I loved the show and I wanted to have at least one more positive review before I do do one that irritated me, you know. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I seem to be rambling, so I'm just gonna clock out right here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And, um, oh, there are some changes to the Crazy Nut Reviews website. I will be doing a video to cover those, um, pretty soon. Um, so yeah, if you guys visit the site and you can't find anything or nothing makes sense, don't worry about it. I will cover that in a video as well. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all again for the next video. Whenever I can get it, get it filmed. Until then, see you around.